Welcome to this episode of YouTube where we did acquire two pups uh, for our exhibit pack as part of our process of adopting wolves from other facilities. Uh, we were able to locate, uh, after not having success at our original choices, um, uh, a pair of pups that are about 35 days old, uh, a little bit older than we typically had. We did uh, bring them to Abby Keller, our wolf, lead wolf specialist house. Um, and they kind of got acclimated, went through uh, parasite control, um, hanging out with uh, her dog, Moose, um, getting to be familiar with Abby. And uh, obviously, uh, being a little bit older, uh, the dog is a real bonus uh, to those pups, uh, getting um, feeling a little bit more comfortable with having the dog around. And certainly, Moose did a fabulous job of being a companion um, through the fence. Uh, you can see here uh, a little bit of play behavior uh, obviously having uh, two uh, pups means that you're going to get a lot more of that jaw sparring uh, wrestling t-tail you know tail response and submission dominance kind of behaviors um, we have nicknamed them blackbeard this pup here closest to us with his uh, dark muzzle and the other pup was nicknamed captain kid uh, name a pup contest will be held by the Wolf Center and get a little bit more information. So you might also see another dog, uh, my dog Neater, um, who I adopted uh, two weeks ago on Sunday. Um, and just as a reminder, we have dealt with pups that have been a little bit older than usual. Uh, Bolts was one of those pups. And so we did use a dog uh, with him uh, because Luna was so much younger. Luna had a lot of medical issues. And so the dog became a very important resource uh, to Bolts, again, being older, being a little bit weaker socialization than whether we would have bottle fed in that neonate critical bonding period. So we know that we can successfully do this. We know that it is a lot of work and we know that the wolf care staff have to be consistent. They have to be diligent. They have to have positive reinforcement and they have to make every experience uh, for these new pups is a, you know, has a good result. So Rika um, and Neater and Axel and Grayson, they all have met through the fence. Neater does a fabulous job of being next to the fence, so we know that we don't have any anxiety from the adult wolves. And here is the first meeting of the pups through the fence. So this happened today. The sunlight wasn't very good, um, so uh, angles, so you can't really see the pups, but this is in the pack holding area. Uh, the um, uh, pups, uh, you might be familiar with this gate in that this is where Grizzard would meet Axel and Grayson and Rika um, um, over his years of retirement. Uh, many wolves have been face to face there, but uh, this is where the pups are going to be maintained um, now that retirement has no uh, uh, living members in retirement. Um, so that gives uh, a little bit more access and certainly um, having that opportunity to encourage a social relationship with Axel, Grayson, and Rika. Grayson was a little bit kind of put off um, at first, um, a little bit uh, more nervous, and I'm not really sure what that's about, maybe because Axel kind of readily went up and greeted, but uh, we'll keep uh, you posted. And obviously Grayson um, did what Grayson does best, which is uh, his howl uh, to the new pups. So thanks for watching. We'll keep you posted as uh, things progress.